up guys welcome back to chop toys um, I forgot I haven't even done a video on this yet this is one of my all-time favorite vintage toys but this one is a reproduction so what we've got here is a late 90s uh, nylant made reproduction of a Rodzi racer tether car um, their originals I think were made by a company called Cameron they were called Rodzi racer and they're tether cars they had a little thimble drone style single cylinder little gas engine and they would race on those big oval tracks with a little bracket on the side and a string holding it so they could just sling it around while it's running 200 miles an hour around a banked course but uh, uh most of them look like little sprint cars or you know really fancy ones they've got some that are large and very expensive cast aluminum and now I believe this is cast aluminum uh, I don't I've never had one of the original ones, so I don't know too much about it. But uh, this reproduction, it has a dummy engine in it. Now these are all black and red. And uh, I'm pretty much like you see it, just glossy black with red accents. I think it had a number on the side. Um, come in a nice little vintage looking box and all that. And they, they go for around 100 bucks. Uh, original ones, depending on the condition, I mean, missing grills, missing scoops, things like that. You can find them for around 100 bucks. Missing tires, missing axles, no motors. Um, I've seen some decent ones at antique stores and on eBay for under 300. They're really cool looking. I, I love the original ones. They have, you know, just a little bit of wear on them like this, but the bare metal showing through isn't shiny and new. It's all, you know, aged to perfection. So uh, it's one of those neat little things. But uh, let's talk about this. So we've got what I did on this is I stripped it all down, stripped all the paint off, and I painted it. A super gloss uh, rust-oleum green. I think that was an enamel. And then I wet sanded it down to perfection. Got some edges showing. Uh, come out very, very nice satin. It's hard to tell because this, this is very dusty. This is one of my display pieces. It sets out on the shelf. So, like all my Tonka trucks, and this does fit very well with the Tonka trucks. Um, it, you know, you got a big Tonka truck. It's probably off by one scale or so. And the Tonka trucks are around 1 16th. This is probably you know, 1 18th, somewhere in that ballpark. But it, it looks right with the Tonka trucks to me. But uh, I, I've wanted one of these forever and I just never could afford it. So I finally scored one of these reproductions and I tried to uh, weather it and make it look the part. It's basically just two cast halves screwed together. We've got a, what is a chrome grill? It's starting to, to age. I, it's what? I probably had this for. 15 years now just out on display since I painted it tires are holding up well they're kind of hard um, it's got the little scoops like it was original flat four engine under there two uh, Weber carburetors or something or Strombergs um, the motor inside like I said it was a dummy dummy engine it looks like the original one we've got a little fuel line up here but it doesn't actually do anything or is that the exhaust? This is where the fuel went in, I believe. You're supposed to unscrew your gas cap, put a few drips of fuel in it, and then you raced it. This is a very old precursor to RC cars. Um, if you look at the rear, got a little exhaust pipe there. Um, no, maybe that is where the fuel went. I don't know. <laughs> I've never actually run one of these. I'm sure uh, there's plenty of information on the internet. This wheel has a stepped uh, pulley inside of it. And that was how you started them. You put a string around it and you yanked it and it got it running. And uh, I believe this side, we've got the mounting points here. It had a little triangular bracket and then you tied your tether to it and you always turn left. It was like NASCAR race. You just went around in circles and there's no steering. You just guide it with your string while it's flying around the track. It's, it's really cool. If you haven't seen any videos of tether cars, I'm sure there's some on YouTube. Take a look at them. It's, it's really exciting how fast they actually are. Um, you've seen some on eBay and stuff. Sometimes they, they're called Rodzi Racer. Sometimes they're Cameron brand. Sometimes they're uh, called uh, Chino Big Nut because it has this big nut on the rear axle. I don't know the full story behind that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you're interested in these, take a look. It's just another cool vintage toy. Um, again, this is a reproduction. There's a, a limited number of these, but I think it was in the, the several thousands, so, you know, 
You can still find them out there. I, I'm not sure what the current pricing is. Like I said, I paid a hundred bucks for this back 15 years ago, uh, and they were. I think they sold for about a hundred bucks when they were new in the late 90s. So there's a little little price there to them. But uh, like I said, original ones. I've seen them on eBay here recently uh, in the 150 to 300 range, depending on the condition. Um, I had a cast aluminum windshield for this. So you had your little Model A windshield, your Model T windshield, but unfortunately that arrived broken. And that was way back in the day, so there wasn't really anything I could do about it. <laughs> and I wasn't sure how it attached or anything, but there, there are some mods out for these. And, uh, yeah. Just cool looking little thing. It, like I said, it looks great with my Tonka trucks. I love, uh, I love it. I love the colors, this kind of vintage flat green. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the bottom since is that the only thing I haven't shown you. You can see where my sanding didn't get around the letters. Cameron Precision Engineering, Chino, California. I guess that's where the uh, Chino Big Nut name came from. And it's stamped Nylent. And they were just the ones that licensed the reproduction, I guess. It's not typically a Nylent type vehicle. Um, all this stuff is removable. Tailpipe and everything comes out. You can completely disassemble it as I did when I painted it. And you could swap in a real motor. I believe it actually has all the gearing and stuff on the axle. So I don't see why you couldn't make an actual functioning tether car out of it. I don't know where you would run it because I think all tether car tracks in the world have since disappeared. But uh, anyways, I appreciate you guys checking it out. You know, this is just my, my uh, secondary channel for my other toy interests and uh, rat rod stuff that's not RC related. Um, if you are interested in the RC stuff, check out my other channel, RC Every Day. It is a lot more large of a channel. It takes up a lot more of my time than this one does, but uh, you know, I'm trying to get back into it. I've got some time coming up off work. It's coming up around Christmas time, so hopefully we can do some more uh, chopping. <laughs> but anyways, appreciate y'all watching, and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.